test is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's just 2 o'clock now, so I'll wait a minute uh, or two before we get started. All right, it's just a couple minutes after two, so let's get started. Uh, so welcome and thanks everyone for joining us on today's webinar, Expense Management Best Practices. Just gonna flip to the next slide. Great, so before we get started, I just uh, want to introduce myself and your presenter. So I'm Stephanie Tortorici, and I'm one of the account managers here at TGO. Uh, we also have Mathis from Concur, and he'll be presenting our session today. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. Um, so everyone is on mute, just so we can reduce any background noise. If you have any questions during the session, feel free to type into the GoToWebinar interface and we'll read them out at the end of the presentation. There will also be a survey that pops up when you leave today's presentation. We'd really appreciate if you could take the time to fill it in. It does help us to uh, improve all of our future presentations and improve what we can offer you. In addition, we do have a special offer at the end of the presentation, so hopefully you'll want to stick around for that. Just a little bit about TGO before we get started. Um, we are financial system specialists and we focus on the office of the CFO. We do guarantee the success of our projects at a fixed fee. Here at TGO, we're always looking for ways to educate our clients and prospects with new solutions that enhance their dynamic solutions. For the month of May, we have a two-part webinar series focused on best practices. So today we'll go through expense management best practices. And then on Thursday, we have a budgeting and forecasting best practices webinar. So as mentioned, we do have the budgeting and forecasting on May 18th. So if you're available, um, we'd really encourage you to register and listen into that one. So without further ado, I'll pass it on to Mathis and we can get started. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Good afternoon, everyone. Just give me a quick second here. Perfect. Stephanie, I just want to confirm that you guys can see my screen. Yep, I can see it. Awesome. So in terms of today's uh, you know, discussion, really we call it the art and science of spend management. As Stephanie mentioned, my name is Mathis Karuna and I've been at Concur just over four years and I work with a lot of the organizations really helping to better manage spend. Now in terms of today's agenda, we really want to cover off a lot of things, but our goal is to do this in 60 minutes or less. Now what we want to touch on is top spend management challenges. Why harness the power of automation with cloud-based tools in particular? A little bit about Concur and who we are, and then the Concur solution and expense. Okay, and then really what we should do in terms of next steps to get started.
Now with Concur, there, we have, just to give you a quick overview, let's drill down into what this means for you and your business. Um, we have over 34,000 clients and 42 million connected users within that platform. Now we truly understand that most small and mid-sized businesses like yours share similar priorities and face common challenges. So when we look at into what those challenges are, some of the top priorities, if in most organizations similar to yours, when we look at the next 12 months and forecasting of the business, it's really to increase revenue, attracting and retaining talent in all aspects of the business, and then developing new products and services, entering new markets and distribution channels, and for a lot of you in the room, it's improving operational efficiency. Now, whether you're part of the finance team, operations, or HR, you're really not alone in looking to improve operating efficiency, and it's truly by controlling costs and increasing productivity for anyone within the organization. Now, while managing shared priorities, there's a number of common challenges that we hear in the marketplace, um, regardless of the size of your organization, and that includes really a lot of manual data entry and reconciliation. Uh, within the reconciliation, you know, I had a call this morning with an executive, and their challenge was corporate card reconciliation, so we can touch on what integration looks like. Uh, insufficient controls in all aspects, whether it's T&E policy, compliance, uh, integration with other systems, there's a lot of lack of connections and lack of visibility into that data. So T&E being your second largest controllable cost for most organizations without visibility into that makes it very difficult to make uh, better business decisions. And then there's always that internal resistance to change. So change regardless of what project you're implementing within the organization, there will always be that change management portion which sometimes is a bigger challenge uh, for some companies. Now, I know that many of you have considered or looking at automation in terms of spend management tools, but many of you have been spelled by in internal obstacles. Now, if we were in person, I'd say how many of these scenarios particularly apply to you, right? But we, we hear them, and I know that if uh, we were to get a show of hands that some of these would apply. It costs too much to bring in a new solution. Expense solutions are really for the big organizations, the small and mid-sized market clients. That doesn't apply to me or I'm not ready yet. And then kind of things like, you know, I can uh, I have a manual process that's working. Let's not touch that right now. Or I, I have the visibility through the accounting system so we haven't focused on the project, right? Now, what we want to do is really help you harness the power of spend automation. And adopting this using a technology and ecosystem, really, that's in the cloud. Now, when we talk about automation, automation is the first step in gaining control of the process that are manual, uh, inefficient, and very time consuming. So when we talk about uh, or look at some of the insights from the marketplace in terms of third party research, there's about a 50% lower cost on every expense report transaction when you automate. So if we look at how much it's costing you today, both in terms of hard and co soft cost, if we consider 55%, it's a very easy number to quickly say, you know, what is this project worthwhile? And again, most of my executives find I'll, it might be a small project, but it's one worth taking on because of the large impact to the users. Now, over 44% say that there's better compliance when you use end-to-end -end travel and expense solution reporting. So again, Controlling your spend because it's your second largest controllable cost is one that's a critical area of focus when you're trying to scale the business as you continue to grow. Or be, if you've grown and then looking back at some of the processes that you've missed out on, this is potentially one of those priorities. Now, when you recognize the importance of automation, 53% of businesses say migrating off paper-based process is the top priority, followed by 35% on improving process efficiency. Now, when we talk to our clients, in addition to cutting costs and improving productivity, one of the greater benefits of automation is really the increased visibility into when and how costs are being incurred into their organizations, and this is done in almost real time. So the second step in adoption is really the mobile solution, right? So mobile used to be a nice to have back in the day, and today it's a requirement. As you probably are aware, mobile internet usage will soon overtake a desktop usage. Now, I always joke about this with my clients and say, I'm not too old. I remember the days when I used to go to TD, put in my passbook, and that's how I updated my banking statement. Today, we, we've come to a point where you can simply take a picture 
of the check on your mobile device and it's in your account. So again, naturally the evolution of technology has improved the experience for the users and we want to do, be able to do the same within your t and &E process. Now, 67% of organizations now also view mobile solutions and services as critical to their business. This is important. So it's no longer a nice to have, we can potentially look at it, it's, hey, this is a fundamental requirement. And most organizations, whether you're in Dropbox, other existing technology, you're already on mobile apps, they already are on their smartphones, this is just another way to get them becoming more efficient. And when we look at this in terms of hours, there's over four and a half hours per month that's saved by employees that use mobile expense reporting and travel apps. So if we look at that from a long-term perspective, a little 12-month span, that's about an extra week in a year. So as an executive on the line, my question back is, what could you do with an extra week in a year? If you're on the sales front, potentially get new, meet new clients. If you're project management, better coordination. If you're an executive, more time to do what you already have, a time crunch within the finance team, budgeting, again, areas that we can provide time back to do what you want best. Now, what you need to do is ask yourself, what could your colleagues do? You know, run one or more marketing campaigns if you're on the marketing side, close more deals. I think we all agree that mobile technologies and automations are great things no matter what the size of the company is. And let's touch on really how that applies to the expense management process. Now, before we do that, I want to touch briefly on Concur as a company, right? So Concur, we are the global leader in providing spend management solutions and automizing the entire process in an ecosystem to help companies of all sizes through a cloud-based technology. In terms of some fun facts, we're a Seattle-based company. We were started in about 1993 and expanded into Canada in 2006. Um, we've won various awards, one including the Tabby Awards for Best iPhone App for Enterprise Solutions. Again, we talk about the user experience. This is important because it's one that they embrace. And I always say that if we deploy solutions that are not embraced by the users, then the project fails regardless of how much data visibility we get. And when we talk about how big Concur is from a Canadian perspective, we have over 97,000 Canadian business users cutting costs with the Concur platform. Now, we truly believe the only way to really manage your cost is to see your cost connected to your systems and processes and start making actionable decisions from there. And that really relates to one integrated ecosystem or one platform. Now, we have three connected solutions really designed to integrate and automate the systems used to manage employee-initiated spending. Now, one of the top three costs of most businesses. Now, Concur Solutions are designed to create an integrated automated system for managing employee-initiated spend which includes both travel and expenses, invoices for the AP automation. Now they're designed to make it easy for your employees to effectively manage the spend. And the critical focus, as you can see, is in the core, or it's one spend management solution versus three different platforms, one to manage travel, one for expense, one for invoice. So talking about the ecosystem and how it's broken out, let's drill down into each of these and provide a little bit more insight into what the technology looks like. So anywhere that you have access to the internet, on the mobile platforms, or on your laptops, you can access Concur. And this is what that technology looks like once you log in. As you can see at the top left, depending on the modules that you have, it will be turned on. It's completely flexible, so you can start with travel, expense, or invoice and add the modules later. What you see here is the trip. So very similar to online search engines, we can convey that experience within the platform with your policies built into the background. The goal of Concur is always count down to zero, so making it easy for the user. So in this case, there's two available expenses that I as a user have to action. And I don't have any open claims, so I know that there's nothing that's pending that I have to submit before a particular given uh, timeline by the organization. Okay. So when we talk about Concur as an organization, what we want to do is we talk about the expense report that creates itself. Can we imagine that if we just had to simply take a picture and everything was done for us, how many manual steps that, or data entry that we can eliminate for the user as well as other members that touch the expense report? So what this really means is improving productivity for your users, improving compliance, 
and then really looking at it over your business expenses. So it's a connected platform, one that's transparent for everyone that's involved, and one that's easy to use from an interface perspective. So when we talk about expense, it's broken down into five key areas. So the mobility of the platform, we're going to touch on what e-receipts look like, which is unique to Concur. Um, corporate card integration, so some of the challenges of reconciling corporate cards and what that means within an automated tool. Bringing all that data together from a reporting perspective, and as we all love and know from like, the Canadian taxes uh, is one that's very critical, as well as the reclaim rates here in Ontario, so we'll touch on that. Okay, so we're going to walk you through really capturing, submitting an audit and then approving your expense report. So the goal is really to wherever and whenever your spend happens to be able to capture it within one ecosystem and one platform. So there's multiple ways to get your receipts when we talk about your teeny receipts into the system. You can take a picture, you can get the e-receipts, you can email it. So for example, if you have a 407 or Rogers bill that comes into your email, you can forward it versus printing it and then pushing it off to the system. Or if you have something where you're close to a scanner, you can scan it and send it into the system as well. Okay. So when we talk about the OCR technology, it's simply taking a picture of the receipt and having all the data read from the receipt. So in this example, for example, let's say the vendor is selected, the total amount is read, and the date of the transaction, which is typically three points a user manually fills out in an expense-based report. Once we come into the system, you'll see here the OCR technology preloads that. So the first example, Starbucks, it's coded to the GL using a lot of algorithms that are built into the background. And then it's got the date and total amount. So within the system, that's one way of getting it into there. It's using the OCR or expensive technology. The other method is applies to your hotel receipts and airlines car rentals. So e-receipt is a direct partnership we have with the vendors themselves. And as a user, I know this, and I've heard this from many of my clients, the hotel folio is the most painful piece of an expense report because ideally finance teams and accounting systems should have them broken out based on the expense category. So you see here that it's all broken out line by line. So what happens when you have something that's not in policy, in this case in room entertainment, but it's part of that larger receipt that you really can't change at this point. Within Concur, you can simply check off that it's a personal expense and it will calculate that from the reduction. So you'll see at the bottom here, the total amount of the report is 1426. However, the total requested, once you deduct that interim entertainment, is fourteen ten and seventeen cents. Now, when we talk about submitting your report, this is critical because, again, as more and more organizations have multiple offices, remote offices, and globally locations around the world, it's important to have a centralized system, but travel does not get impacted or bottleneck the process. So as a user or as a manager, you can submit and approve your expense report regardless of where you are in the world as long as you have internet access. If you are on an airplane, it does also have capability to do what we call an offline mode. As soon as it connects to the internet or data, it will then sync up with our servers. Now what you see here is the total amount. I'm going to click submit. It's 1410, and it's as simple as that. And at that point, it's gone off to review. So you do have the capability to have a third-party auditor, which is a concur representative, go through the entire policy and make sure that the data that's been entered is received correctly, and that there's nothing that breaks your policy. So an example of this with our clients is they're an alcohol manufacturer. Um, they don't have a rule that says no alcohol, but their rule is very particular in saying if you do have an alcoholic beverage, it must be of company brand. So the live auditor will go through every line on that receipt and ensure that that compliance is met. Right? Again, giving importance and expense compliance visibility to your people managers. So these are the managers that are on the go, your VP of sales, your project manager, your VP of implementation. and 
when they when he or she logs in from an approver perspective, one of the things that we want to highlight is where the gray area is in that expense report. So in this case, as you can see, once the manager logs in, it's very clear as to what the items are of focus. So there's three exceptions that we're going to highlight to the user as a manager, and they will review that versus starting from the top of the expense report and downwards. As we know, most users, when they start at the top and get to the bottom, if it's the last report line item that's in question, they probably have already clicked approve at that point in a manual process. So we will take an effort to highlight that for the user. This does a few things. It does improve employee satisfaction, but definitely creates a faster reimbursement. Right? So if this was in a manual process, a manager might be coming back to his desk where there's 10, 15 expense reports to approve from his team. But because he was on the go, before jumping on a plane, as soon as he landed, if he has a few down minutes, then he's able to review everything, including the images of the receipts on the phone, to make a decision and move the report along. So what does this mean for your organization? Visibility is key. Again, you know, I, I want to emphasize it's your second largest controllable cost. So if we can provide visibility in terms of you know who the top reps are within your company and how much are they spending when it comes to TNE. Is that correlated to the sales number, or is it the top employee in terms of sales numbers not actually spending as much? Those are some of the questions that come up. So productivity is important because this means that your employees now spend less time doing their expense reports, and on average, third-party research says there's a 50% reduction in terms of time it takes to do your expense report. And as we mentioned earlier, it's about a week when we talk about a 12-month period. So that could be all sorts of things, whether if you're in finance, you can focus on understanding the data, making better business decisions or recommending decisions. If you're in sales, making that extra sales call. Right? And all of this is done with the control of your policy. So implementing your TNA policy within the system allows for a complete view and everybody treating equally. The system does have the capability to kind of reference people in different buckets. So you're Executives might have one policy, your salespeople might have a second and operations a third, but within those buckets, everyone will be enforced using the technology. So one manager is not allowing an expense report to go through that another uh, might reject. So let's uh, touch on AP automation in terms of the effortless invoice, right? Again, it's touching on the same idea that we really want to bring this all together into a platform that makes it easy for you to use and connect it with your other technology. So when we break this down in terms of AP automation, there's about six areas. Integrating it to your systems where you have potentially a PO process done in your ERP, customizing your workflow for approval based on the invoice of your department, really matching it up so there's two-way and three-way match, giving your suppliers visibility so they know what stage each invoice is at, and then again, the mobility and the flexibility to do this on the go as well as reporting. So let's look at this in four steps, right? You procure, you capture, you approve it, and then you look at the payment side of it. Now, when we talk about procuring to pay, this is PO based. If you have a PO process internally, we can definitely pull that in. If you have, uh, you know, within your ERP or another third party tool, we will pull that PO with the information or asymmetries. We'd like a PO process. That's also something within the Concur technology that we can do for you. Now, when we capture the receipt or the invoice, it's very similar to the expense reporting process. We can leave it to us. We will open up the envelope digitally convey that technology and receipt, and then pull and extract all the data. So instead of manually going through and saying, oh, you know, here's an invoice, the detail supplier, I have to manually enter that in, I have to manually enter the unit, it's all done for you. So as you can see here, the technology reads the data line by line and enters it in respectively to the right department in GL. You'll also notice here at the bottom there, there's taxes. So that's also pulling in the tax, the shipping, and the PO number, and the description, part number, unit price. So again, these are variables that you typically manually check with the PO-based process, but the Concur technology will do that for you in this case.
Now, when we talk about workflow, you'll see here it's been assigned to. So you do have the flexibility to read a particular name from the receipt. So in this case, the, the PO was created, but doesn't actually know who to go to. But under the invoice, there's an ordered by. So in this case, Brad Smith, because the name is acknowledged in the invoice, the organization can say, okay, if it says Brad's name, start with him as the first level of approver. And so the first queue in the workflow would be Brad. So he will review it, look at the variances, and then decide what course of action needs to be taken. When talking about approving, it's really a supplier relationship. It takes advantage of discounts with faster approval. So a lot of organizations say, Mathis, potentially if we pay this in advance of a certain date, there might be a percent or two in terms of rebate, or simply paying on time will give us a percent or two in rebate. The system is smart enough to say, okay, you know what, if these invoices are due on the 28th of every month, then a few days prior it will trigger and go out. So that way you're maximizing your cash flow, but also making sure that the supplier gets paid on time and helping you realize any discounts that are potentially available to you. Okay. In terms of payment, various methods available, whether it's cutting a check or a credit card. So we can trigger an alert to the company and say, hey, this particular invoice has been approved. Go ahead and charge the card. So that, that way you leave the card with them. Again, if you charge to your corporate card, for example, your P card, it improves your cash flow because it adds another 30 days or so. But also it allows you to keep track of what's being triggered on that card. So until the vendor gets permission, they're waiting, and you know that everything's been authorized at that point. Again, similar to the expense side, giving you the visibility into your AP process, which means bigger ticket invoices, larger amounts, makes the organization stronger because you can make better business decisions and also improves the process because you've, at this point, eliminated a lot of the manual steps that are involved. So now let's briefly go into the travel side. So when we talk about your business traveler, what does that mean and how does the process look like? So within the same ecosystem, we're going to bring it all together and simplify the booking experience to help you reduce costs before the booking is actually gone live. So we'll touch on that in six different areas. So the mobile app, e-receipts, travel planning, and then the inventory and trip link here. Okay. So when we talk about Incur, really, again, I, I like to talk about the experiences, it being very similar to our online experience if we were to make a personal trip. Within Concur, for example, we take it a step further, and you can actually tell the system using your voice what you'd like to do. So it's a very interactive tool through voice recognition, simply saying, I like to travel to this particular location on a defined date, and then it will pull that search back for you. So once the search comes back, you'll see here there's some colors. In this case, it's green, but we can also see the green, yellow, and red. This is critical because in a system where Concur is not involved, if they're going online and just browsing the internet and making a reservation or an airline booking, we don't know if they're in policy or not, or if they're actually choosing the best available price. In this case, you see that green means you're in policy. Yellow means you're just in that gray area, so that maybe you need a business reason. And then red means you've totally blown it and the system will not let you make that reservation. Do keep in mind, in Canada, it's unique because all the airline tickets are issued right away, so there's no hold period. So as soon as you make that reservation, it's a live booking. So when we talk about that gray area, you see here, I'm empowered to make that decision, but I can tell the system or the user or my manager why I didn't choose the green option. And sometimes I could be, for example, let's take a, a case where I have to drop off my kids at soccer and then fly out. Well, the difference might be very small, or it could be that I have to go to a meeting before heading to the airport. So those are decisions that I make which make my day more efficient, and all I'm going to do in this case make that comment for my manager. So when he reviews and says, hey, Mathis, you made that reservation for $377 versus 291 the justification is already done. 
when you look at making this tool, this tool is connected to your travel management company. So there's over 400 travel management companies that we work with, and we're pulling in the same global distribution system data, the negotiated fares that you have particularly maybe with your travel management company or directly with the hotels that are close to your areas of business. Those are all connected within the ecosystem, and again, it's prioritized. So for example, if you get rebates from Air Canada based on a certain spend, we can highlight Air Canada as the priority or the preferred vendor for your users, so that way they acknowledge that it might be a little bit more expensive, but in return, the rebates far exceed the savings. And so by doing this in one ecosystem, it really helps the user because it's, it connects to the expense side of it. So it's an organized travel platform where all your place travel plans are in one place. It's accessible on your tablet or your smartphone, and it's real-time flight alert. So if there's a change in your gate, the technology will tell you. And again, this might not seem like a lot, but as a business traveler, if you have to go from one end of the airport to the next, by being able to say, oh, I don't have to make that trip. I can finish up another call, finish up another email, that does make the experience easier for the user, but also makes them more effective. Okay. Now, one of the things that I like to always bring up is what Steve Singh mentioned. And he says, this is the value of a connected platform when we talk about concurrent. It brings visibility into a previously invisible area of corporate spend. And it fosters innovation that makes life easier for the traveler and the company. So why is that important? Because by doing all this within one ecosystem, it's an experience in which the users are comfortable with and they embrace the technology. They're not going into one system for travel and then trying to get that information, whether it's a hotel receipt or an airline reservation, and then trying to build out their expense report. It's automatically done for them when you book through the Concur Travel tool. And the Concur Travel is simply technology, so we will always work with you, your travel management company, as long as you're a partner, to integrate that. Now, we also go above and beyond and have various supported services, um, both internally and through our dedicated partners, when we talk about things like tax management, spend automation, um, your travel management company can help you plan industry meetings and events, and also look at the entire traveler experience using other third-party apps. At the same time, the ecosystem has various trusted brands, whether you're talking about Starbucks, you're talking about Uber, talking about the various car rentals, the airlines. This is These are all providers that you see on the screen that are directly connected with our ecosystem. That means those receipts can get directly into the expense report right when you're done. So your users have the potential experience to book an Uber by the time they get out of their, their Uber ride. That receipt is actually in Concur ready to go because the, the partnership is there for that data, data has automatically come into the account. Beyond that, we also want to make sure that we leverage and help you embrace technology investments that you've already made. So whether it's your CRM, your ERP or your accounting system, TGO is a partner of ours and they're actually a Concur preferred partner. So a Concur Platinum sponsor, uh, solutions provider means that they have relationship with us and they actually understand the integration in our technology better than some other providers in the marketplace, which gives you a competitive edge when you're talking about integration. So they do have many clients that ha have worked with them and Concur together and uh, we definitely can share some of those experiences offline uh, if you'd like to learn more. Now, really, as you see through the presentation, it really sums up into three areas that Concur takes great pride. It's helping to ensure your company's entire spend management activities are connected within one ecosystem. It's transparent for all levels, whether you're an employee all the way to your CFO in terms of visibility, and making sure that the experience is easy to use, and that way the change management part of it is much smoother and easier for them to adapt to. When we talk about why Concur, um, you know, Concur is known around the world, not just for automating the expense report, but in transforming how organizations and businesses capture and manage spend. Um, we are trusted by over 25 million users. 
20 million, 20,000 clients in over 100 countries. This might not be something that rings a bell today, but it could be as simple as a Canadian company setting up a new location in the US. What if you started growing into Europe? It could be a few employees that you start with, but there are local rules from a compliance perspective that are important. So those are areas that Concur has the expertise and we can definitely help you. Now, when you talk about gaining the power of a global company, it's really dedicated local support, continental investment in terms of, continual investment, sorry, in terms of R&D, and then the value added partnerships with other global leaders that respectively lead their market space. Now, the one thing, I think that number needs to be updated to 98% retention rate. So when we talk to organization, we talk about the impact that we're going to have on their business processes. We truly do deliver, and we hold them as a long-term client. And so they choose to be with Concur versus really to be forced by a contract. Now, in terms of next steps, there's various ways to reach out to us. Um, you know, definitely reach out to TGO as your partner to book a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the Concur Consultant. And what we will do is work with you to understand the areas that are of challenge to you and help you uncover areas of challenge that you might not already be aware of. Okay? Um, you can also sign up for an online demonstration, which is a test drive on concur.ca. Off the top right-hand corner, there's a test drive. It's a limited version, but it will give you an experience of the user interface. Now, what I'd like to do now is open up the floor, um, definitely go into the WebEx or in terms of the, the questions section. If there are any questions, both uh, Stephanie and I will help tackle them. Again, within the WebEx platform on the right-hand side under questions, you can enter in that question. Stephanie, did you want to open up the, the line and unmute her? Hi there. Thank you for the presentation. I don't see any questions yet, but as Mathis mentioned, feel free to uh, chat with us and send us any questions that you have now or after the webinar. All right, while we're waiting uh, for any kind of last minute questions, I will let you know of TGO's special offer. Um, so right now we're offering 45 days of TGO's Unlimited Financial Systems Assurance Plan. Uh, so our assurance plan provides you and your organization with unlimited support for your systems. Uh, this includes, but is not limited to, Dynamics GP. Uh, and will also support your third-party add-ons that you may or may not have. We have an in-house support team solely dedicated to our clients on assurance plans, and they're your one-stop shop for any issues you have um, or troubleshooting your system. So to qualify, um, we're opening this offer to anybody who's not currently on an assurance plan. Uh, one of our consultants will spend a couple of hours with you and your team uh, to ensure that we understand your systems and we're able to provide the support that you need. Uh, at the end of the review, we'll develop a customized support plan um, and we'll get you started on your 45 free days. Um, so someone from the TGO team will be reaching out to everyone who attended today's webinar um, to see if we can help and get you started on this offer. That being said, we will be on the line for a couple more minutes with any questions. Uh, we will be doing some follow-up after the webinar as well via email and phone uh, if you have any outstanding questions. But thank you for attending and we hope you enjoyed it. going to take one question that came in and it was around how do we handle Canadian taxes. 
So in terms of Canadian taxes, how the system administers or keeps track of that is, first we recognize where the expense is being incurred. So for example, in Ontario, and then based on the local tax, so in this case, HSD, we would uh, captured that. And two ways for the system to acknowledge Canadian taxes, one is to include the tip, for example, in a business meal, or exclude the tip. Both are options, but uh, most organizations have one method of uh, of taxation that they practice and then we can also calculate out your reclaim rate so based on business meals for example being 50 percent reclaimable we can calculate that all out to you within the concur system eliminating the need for you to do it manually and then it automatically comes out in our output file ready to get uploaded into gp Okay, it looks like there's no uh, no more questions there, Stephanie. So again, thank you everyone. And uh, if there are any outstanding questions that come up later on, please feel free to contact TG or Concur and we can definitely help you address those questions. Thank okay. you. Thanks everyone. Take care.